How do I make sure I apply to the right college? This is something I've already talked about in another video and in this video I want to talk about the essence of a college application and that is it has to f it, you have to make it fitting fitting to the university and fitting to yourself the application has to has to hit who you are so that it's perceived by the university as if you're one of them. But how can you be one of them if you don't know who you are in the first place? So in this video I'm going to share a little bit of like a, a couple of mental tools that you can help, that, that, that will help you find a little bit more, find out a little bit more who you are and what you could put into a successful college application. Number one, or the concept number one, is that of procrastination. We've all been, we, we all procrastinated and usually when it comes to procrastination, people detect themselves and they're like, ah, I shouldn't be doing this, I should really be doing that. But there's beauty and power of self-reflection in this. So next time you find yourself procrastinating on something, don't just feel bad about it, but instead ask yourself, okay, what was I procrastinating on? What, like, what was I doing while I procrastinated and, and also what was the task that I put off? Two things about this, about this dynamic. Usually we, we don't ever procrastinate with something that would give us even less energy than the task we procrastinate to begin with. But it's usually something that fills us up a little more. At least something that doesn't drain us. Maybe you're going to be, I don't know, being on YouTube, watching videos, scrolling down Instagram. Um, or TikTok or being on a, on a social media. It could seem like a waste of time, but think again. Look at the patterns that maybe erupt when you catch yourself procrastinating. What are the things, the movies, the social media, the things you consume? Whatever you, you consume, maybe look at the browser history and see is there maybe a pattern of topics that just, that nobody tells me to look at? Certain people, jobs, whatever the case may be, buildings, cars, you got to look at something. Maybe it, it says something about your career and who you are and, and, and your, your inner way, in a way. Don't feel bad about it just because somebody didn't tell you deliberately, deliberately to, um, to, to do it. And then at the same time, feel good about the fact that you just discovered something that you didn't like. I'm going to make a claim here. No person on the planet would procrastinate on their passion. If there is something that you would absolutely love and enjoy doing, why would you procrastinate doing something else that you, that you like even less? You wouldn't, as I said before. So this is something that would help you to reject um, things or, or, or topics about yourself that Somebody told you to do it, for example, your math or biology home homework that you didn't like. So maybe math or biology isn't necessarily what you should study later on. Um, so that's, that's the topic of procrastination. To go a little bit deeper here, um, if you look at the things you do instead of the task you, you, you do, I'd like to differentiate between active and passive procrastination. We've talked about passive procrastination, that is when you consume stuff, you don't really actively produce something, you just, you just um, input stuff in your mind usually, content. That's passive. Active is when you actually start doing something. For example, there may be uh, next to me in high school, there was a guy who started scribbling. He was drawing little pictures in in a class where we not really where we were not supposed to be writing pictures. That person might as well be a, a, a hidden in the side of per, in this person might be a graphic designer, somebody who can't help himself but to draw all the time. Could be an artist, so he shouldn't feel bad about the fact that he's always drawing as a distraction, but feel good about it and embrace it. That's the topic of procrastination. The other uh, self-reflection exercise that you can use is that of the, um, it's called the gold purpose. It's, it's an active tool that you can use um, in, your, in your friend circles to, to go a little deeper and, and 
find out the things that you're good at and you and that, that you really like because that's a really healthy sweet spot. So how do you go about it? There are three steps in the golden purpose exercise. Number one, you got to ask at least 10 friends in your friend circle, what do you think I'm really, what do you think are the things that I am best at? Um, it's going to be a really fun exercise when you open your emails or social media accounts in the morning when you have friends answering the things that you're really good at. Plus, it's going to be honest. It's going to be the things that they really appreciate. It's not just something that you believe you're good at because you like them, but it's a filter. Other people, if they say that, that you're good at it, you actually are. So that's a good reflection. Do I only think I'm good at it or am I actually? Second step now is exactly to filter out what of these things that I'm good at are the things that I actually enjoy doing. You know that. Being good at something is not enough if you don't really love it, right? And you can just easily sort out those, 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 those things that other people say you excel in it, but if you excel at it and at the same time they, they, they drain you, they are not for you. And now you have arrived at a super important sweet spot. Things that you're good at and things that you like. You can stop there, which is already value in terms of choosing your major, for example. But you can go one step further. And this goes for all the entrepreneurs in here. Um, or people that, that are looking to create value. I think it actually goes for anyone who wants to do something and gift something to the world of value with your career later on. So try to find out what of these things that are in the intersection, can I, what, what of these things can I use to provide value to the world? There may be things that you're good at and that you enjoy, but they don't really, that you cannot deliver or improve somebody else's life on and with other things you could. And this is a powerful concept in case you feel like you do want to be self-made, be, you know, take self-responsibility, even start your own business late, later in life to see maybe, maybe there is a spark here for you to uncover um, where your professional career can go in terms of output. So, these two exercises are for you to play with, the procrastination, self-reflection exercise or the golden circle that is more uh, an active approach. You can't do it by yourself. You need to ask your friends and make sure you do. Otherwise, you've just spent, I don't know, 10 minutes. I don't know how long I've been talking here, watching this YouTube video. If you wouldn't act, this video would have been a waste of time. Was there something about the content maybe? Again, you can self-reflect. Was there something about the content of self-discovery of self that interested you? Maybe that's another reason why you, why, you kept, why you kept kept watching. In any way, or in any other way. Don't just leave this video in the clouds and do nothing with it. Um, do something, and that could also be to, to like the video. <laughs> going to be cheesy here. Like the video, obviously, if you like the concept, but, but hit subscribe if you feel like you want to get more knowledge out of um, about the US college experience, about the campus lifestyle, about financing your studies in the United States, right? That's a big topic. Feel free to register below the video for a free consultation even. If you feel like this was a fun video, I got a spark and I want to talk about it with somebody on the phone, we are here for you for free. We currently offer free consultations on the phone. Um, so make use of that. Um, if anything, we, we hope to hear you to hear from, from you soon, either in the comment section below. You can comment if you have a question, if something wasn't clear. Um, but I hope until next time. Bye for now.